Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking about Splendid Spoon. So Splendid Spoon is a plant-based meal delivery service that focuses on smoothies and bowls and soups for you so that you can get your daily dose of vegetables without really trying. They've got a couple different plans. You can do the breakfast plan, which is gonna be five smoothies a week. All of them are gonna be low in sugar, so it's a little bit better for you. And then their lunch program are bowls. So they're either gonna be stews or soups, all plant-based. They all contain about three or more servings of veggies in each of them so they make it pretty easy for you to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that you need without working too hard. They also have something called the cleanse. Now the cleanse is a one day what they call intermittent fast where you have these drinkable soups and supposedly it's supposed to reset your system. Now the other thing you can do is they have a larger plan where you can get the breakfast lunch and soup cleanse all together every week so that you are set with your vegetables. We've got a little bit of everything to try, so let's check out what's in our box. All right, so we open up the box, and it looks like this is recyclable insulation, which is nice, always good to see. Got our info on all of our stuff here. These look like our soups. We've got five of these. This one's beans and greens. This one's chickpea harissa tahini. Got cauliflower tikka, some Icarian stew. Last but not least, lentil and kale. Definitely a lot of veggies. Then we've got, this is the breakfast smoothies. So there's a whole bunch of those in there. We'll go through that too. And last but not least, we have our cleanse. Let's pull everything out and get to talking about some of the different flavors. Okay. So these are gonna be the breakfast smoothies. These happen to be the ones that they've sent this week. We've got plant-based probiotic smoothie, lots of peas there, a raspberry cacao smoothie, a A, B, and J smoothie, a blueberry acai, and a cacao almond smoothie. We'll do a taste test of one of those as well. We already talked about some of the flavors of the different soups, so these are the lunch bowls. Some of them are a little bit heartier. You'll see full chickpeas in there. Not everything's gonna be completely blended. And then of course we have the cleanse, but for now we're just gonna talk about the breakfast and lunch. So I'm gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna try the blueberry acai smoothie. On their website, what it says is that you can enjoy them just like this. You can open up the bottle, drink them this way, but because they're a little bit lower on fruit and a little higher in things like cacao and they'll have other things in there, it might be a little bit grainy or a little bit crumbly. So you can throw it in the blender if you wanna add some ice or whatever. They also recommend if you're feeling interested, you may heat them up and you can drink them that way. Not necessarily my first choice when it comes to a smoothie, but everybody's different. We've got coconut water, blueberries, cashews, lemon juice, coconut meat, pea protein, acai, cinnamon, sea salt, and vanilla bean. So it's a whole bunch of different stuff. I see what they mean about grainy. Definitely a little bit of a texture to it, but it still has a nice taste. It's not overly chalky. And because of that, because it has a little bit of that hardiness to it, it's definitely gonna fill you up a little bit better. So I could definitely see that being a great breakfast smoothie. So now we're gonna talk about the lunch bowls. We're definitely gonna try one of these. I think I'm leaning towards trying the lentil and kale. So as you can see, they're all pretty easily packaged here. You just slide them out of these little cardboard containers. They all have lovely little sayings on them. The ingredient list is on here. It suggests if you wanna heat them up or eat them cold, you can kind of do it either way, but it is fully cooked. You don't have to worry because it's just vegetables. You can just eat it as is. And then just a simple plastic film, and then we're just gonna heat this up. Super hearty. All right. Looks like we've got carrots, kale, definitely lentils, onions, olive oil, sea salt, curry powder, rosemary, and cinnamon and a little bit of black pepper. So one other thing that Splendid Spoon likes to talk about is mindful eating. Obviously they can't control this, but they encourage you to sort of sit down and really enjoy your meal. So me doing my taste test at the counter here is kind of cheating, but we're gonna make the best of it. Hopefully it's not too hot. Oh wow, that's really nice. Reminds me of the soups my grandmother used to make when I was a kid. Definitely very veggie heavy, but it doesn't taste bad. It's not overly leafy, if you know what I mean. I really enjoy that. I'm gonna eat the rest of that and I'll see you after for final thoughts. 
So just a couple things to wrap up with Splendid Spoon. I loved how easy it is. These soups, you don't even need to heat them up if you don't want to. You can just eat them cold. Everything's already all set. You can just grab and go. So if you're really, really busy, you can just make sure that you're getting the nutrients that you need without worrying about sacrificing any time during your day. About the nutrients, they do balance everything and make sure that you're getting all the proteins that you need, all of the other balanced nutrients to make sure that your entire diet is complete. As I've mentioned before in some of our other plant-based videos, it's very, very important to make sure that you're getting all the proteins and the different vitamins that you need while you're going plant-based. So Splendid Spoon does all that work for you. You don't have to worry about it. They make sure that it's all set. One other thing, it is a lot of plastic, although supposedly it is all recyclable. They have instructions on their website as to how you can recycle all of their materials. One last thing that I really like about Splendid Spoon is they really push the idea of eating mindfully, which I think is very, very important. As somebody who often will sit in front of the TV and you know completely inhale a meal without even thinking about it, Splendid Spoon wants you to take the time to pay attention to what you're eating and how much you're eating. They even say if you're full after half the bowl, don't eat the other half. You don't need to continually be eating extra just because it's there in front of you. So something that they're really trying to focus on is making sure you know exactly what you're eating, how you're eating it, and how much you're eating. That's a great thing, definitely something I need to work on personally. If you're looking to kind of change your eating habits or if you're looking to go a little bit plant-based, you can learn more about Splendid Spoon at the link below.